Hey YouTube, it's Queen Pam Elon QP here, and I'm back with a post crop and create card making haul. A lot of the vendors gave you discounts, and I utilized some of them. Some of this is not related to that, but I'm putting it all together. Okay, so this is called a silly pot, and Spellbinders used it during their video. And what it is, is a silicone pot that's airtight. And if glue or modeling paste, like say I wanted to mix my own, I could mix it in here and uh, use it. I know it's not necessary. And this is a little silicone applicators. I have something else by this company that is for glue. Yep. It's sitting here on my desk. And what I like about it is the glue comes right out of here. If I like I'm gluing something that's really big, I can use it to apply the glue and it comes right back out. And I think I used paint as well sometime on my jelly pl plate. All right, things are falling because, yes, yeah, always my craft room could stand to be cleaned. So that was one thing I bought. I should have said I bought that off of Amazon, not like from the vendor, so I didn't get a discount from that. I bought some things from the stamp market. This one is called Book, and it makes a really cute uh, book-looking um, embellishment, or I guess I could make it into a card. Um... I also bought this, Thankful For You. The word thankful is there and some leaves. I bought this, which is called Love and Confetti. And it cuts out all of these little hearts and circles, two different size hearts. And XOXO, love, love, love. And hugs, more hearts over on this side. And you can use that in shakers or in any way you choose. This is the stamp that matches the die. Thankful for you. So that was from the stamp market. Okay. And you'll get the background in whatever color you choose with the letter being in whatever color your paper is. And then you can cut it all out. And then this was with one of the discounts from Crop and Create. I went to get me some more critters. So for Ma Mama Elephant, because I'm not a critter person, but I am now. This one is Flower Shower, Stamps and Matching Dyes. And Little Bunny Agenda. Be really cute on cards and envelopes and also the matching die. With my discount, I went to Tailored Expressions and got some more slim layering stencils. These are the bigger ones and this one is Holly Holiday. And you end up with those three designs at the bottom. And this one is Celebrate. And she gave you this free paper because I ordered, I believe, on World Card Making Day. And a free stamp. Let's look at the free stamp because I didn't really look at it. Okay. Doubly sealed. Ah. You can always use some to and from just for you and with love. So great for tag making. Let's open up this puppy. Free paper. Yay. One sheet of 24 different unique designs. 
So it's fall colors. And there's the patterns. Concord Ninth with the discounts. Whenever I get ink pads, I want the reinkers. I messed up and ordered two of the same one. I'll have to fix that at some point down the road. Put an order in with Marcos, and I'm getting, well, I received Repeat the Sounding Joy from Memory Box. The tag dies from Tim's winter release or holiday themed release and I like that you can ink them. I always send my neighbors um, toy soldiers at Christmas time. So this is Tim's Colorize and I think it is called Harvey. Another memory box die called Layered Birds. And then I've been on this kick to find nail heads. I bought some Finnabar molds. I bought Tim's embossing folder. And now I have this impression obsession die. It's probably a little bigger than I wanted it to be. But luckily for me, I also ordered um, Frantic Stampers version. And theirs comes with some smaller ones. So you can see the sizes together. And I can use them. I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I had to have them. Somebody was using something similar during class, creating crop. And I went on Amazon and got me some. It's just a jewel picker but it also has a pokey tool on the end and it came two in a pack also while at marco's i got some more cool girl pake in 130 pound this time i got natural because this is really thick paper the white pretty much looks like um tim's heavy stock his other color of heavy stock is craft, but this will work for me. Let's talk for a minute about LDRS and their sentiment stack. I found that they have now a shadow die for their sentiment stacks. And their sentiment stacks are very similar to tailored expressions where you cut out, you stamp once and cut out all of the dies. Well, first thing was I ordered the wrong shadow. They have a one with the straight end. And I contacted them and they said, oh, we'll just switch it out, which they did. And that that's awesome, awesome customer service because I know there is one manufacturer that if you make a mistake, they charge you to help you fix it. So I'm looking forward to having um, the shadow actually makes like an outline around the back. Let me find one. Okay, these are not LDRS, but they are from somebody. And that's what I mean by the backer. So you can see the black is the other size. And you don't have to figure it out. I think this is LDRS. And you don't have to figure it out or measure it or any of that. Amazon, I wanted some tweezers that have a different end on them. They're flat and they lock really, really strongly to hold things when you're gluing them together. I'm just going to grab these. And they'll hold them up together and let them glue and dry. And these are by iCrafter. And they're iGrip tweezers. 
I got an order from something that was new to me, Coco Rosa Studios, and this is called Foldable Wave Background, and it makes a card that will fold in um, a gatefold card in that shape. This one is Foldable Wave Border, which will make a card that way. What started it was these beautiful, beautiful um, six-piece snowflakes. And then the large petal flower background. And they gave me a free Halloween stamp. And there's only about one stamp in here I will actually use, which is the fox. I don't do Halloween. And the last thing I bought was the Empress Mini, because when I was away at Gatlinburg, it would be nice to have a small machine to sit at my workstation, because we all sit around a big dining room table in the condo, and I'm usually, well, I was this year, stuck where I had to ask somebody to move every time I wanted to get up. So this way I wouldn't have to, because this will be sitting on the floor next to me and I can just reach down and pick it up and as I understand it it doesn't weigh a lot so we're going to find out it doesn't I was able to pick that up with one hand as old as I am and as weak as my hands are haven't had surgery on both of them uh, but this is the beautiful die set that you get and you get an embossing folder and some instructions I'm sure well here's the instructions but then some inspiration okay it's not going back in there so we can just get rid of that and here's what the inspiration is so I don't have like her flowers but I'll be able to make all the things that are shown here somewhat at least to give you an idea and so let's see if we can yeah you can see the embossing folder so that's it that's not it i looked over on my desk i did get some tim's both colors of the mica stains and i also got his watercolor pencils I do not personally recommend them. I like artist quality uh, things. And um, the only thing is it will they will match the distress colors. That's not important to me. So there you go. So as always, once again, I leave you in the hands of the creator.